Hey everybody, I'm here today to give you the best tip for mudding drywall. If I can only give you one tip for mudding drywall, it will be this. Go thin with the mud. The thinner that you put the mud onto the drywall, the less sanding you'll have to do. And in the long run, it will cause less dust and it will create less work. I'm going to give you an example of going thin on the drywall right now. So what I have here is just a little seam and I'm just going to put some mesh tape on it just like that. Uh, we'll throw some mesh tape on there, push this to the side. And with this seam right here, now that the mesh tape is on, I'm actually going to get my mud and my tools and I'm just going to put the mud on the drywall. Now, I've seen many people put mud on drywall and they go super thick, they want it to look great, but the truth of the matter is that you can do many thin coats. It will take more coats if you go super thin on the drywall, but the coats will dry faster and it will cost less work overall. Trust me when I say that. Anyways, let's go thin on this tape. I'm just gonna put some, some mud on this tape right here. And when you go and start off putting the mud, it's okay to go thicker, but you need to thin it out before you finish. Okay, so right now I just put the mud on the drywall. I did a really messy job. But now I'm gonna take my knife and I'm gonna thin it out. So you're gonna press down nice and hard. Just like that, okay? Press down nice and hard. Just like that. Let's put some over there. Press down nice and hard. Now I'm going to clean up the knife. And although it looks thin, I'm going to be honest with you, I'm going to get it much thinner. When I say go thin, I mean go super thin. Put the, put the knife, just push the knife down. Just like that. Push the knife down. Just like that. Then when you're done, you're going to want to clean up any streak marks. So what you're going to do is you're going to push the knife down and clean up the streak marks because you don't really need any mud on the drywall itself. You just want the mud on the joint, uh, on the seam where the two pieces of drywall meet. And you can go over it a few more times with a very quick pass. As you can see right there, it is super, super thin. That means that it will dry really, really quickly and it will cause me to only have to do very, very, very little sanding. So at the end of the day, it causes less mess and it creates less work. So that is the best tip for mudding drywall. Go super, super thin. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.